Jenna, how do you feel about Shelly right now and her disappearance, quote unquote, uh, from your book? It seems she was so nice and also, I'm sorry, so mean to you in the past. I forgot that you talked about Shelly in your book. It's been so long since I've read your book. I honestly don't remember what's in it to be. I just, Me um, neither. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> How do you feel about the whole Shelly thing? I mean, I feel like like it doesn't seem like she's in a good place, you know? So I feel sad for her. I do honestly feel sad for her. And she did do mean things to me and everybody. I think that she felt like she was doing them for the right reasons, though, more than anybody else. Like I think she really believed. And I do think that she did really try to minimize Dave's actions and... Um, like no matter how mean she was to me when I was there, she always came back and made it right. Even if it was quite a while later. And I don't think that that makes it okay, but it makes her relatable to me and empathetic to her. I mean, when she was in Scientology and in the Sea Org when she was just a little kid. Yeah. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> It is interesting to note that a lot of these um, people, I mean, hell, even Miscavige. Well, no, Miscavige, mm -hmm. like, but Miscavige wasn't born into Scientology. I, I can't remember. He wasn't if born into it, but he, like, he was, was young, in it right? as a kid. Yeah, yeah, as like a young teenager. Yeah, and Shelley, I, 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 I'm, I'm hesitant to misspeak. I know she was in the Sea Org when she, on the ship when she was like, you know, eleven or twelve. Um, yeah. I just don't remember whether she was actually i mean i know that's young enough age like i i was four when my mom got into it but i'll say i was born into it do you happen right. to know if shelly was literally born into it i actually don't know i know that she told me that she was already a messenger when she was nine like oh, she yeah. told she me had that to be born into it. she had to be born yeah because she told me that when i was nine and she was like well i was already a messenger when i was nine and i was like well i guess i'm just a loser then because i was still at the ranch if she was already a messenger when she was nine, then she had to be on the ship. Like she couldn't have yeah, been a messenger without being on the ship at, at that age. Right. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I actually don't know what, it, but she was on the ship. So. Right, 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 right. Maybe it was her sister who was 12 and, and Shelly was even younger. Janice knows all the dates. I forget all those things. Um, yeah. But let me ask you this. Cause I, 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 I started a, a new narrative about Shelly on my channel, at least a new narrative for my channel this week. Mm-hmm. And it has to do with the fact that um, I'm more open to the possibility that Shelly and Dave are actually divorced and he might have remarried um, Lou, Larise. Mm. Um, and, and, and the reason, did you see, did you see what I said about that this week already? I saw the title of it. So you didn't watch the video. That's okay. Just admit it. You didn't watch it. Sorry. The video. <laughs> <laughs> so up until now, I, I've been of, I've basically agreed with what Mike Rinder has said in response to this question, because I have always been under the impression it is simply not possible for David Miscavige to be having extramarital relations with another Sea Org member and for anybody to put up with that. Like for me, that's been outside of the realm of something I considered possible. Mm -hmm. And people would ask Mike the question of like, so do you think Dave is messing around behind Shelly's back with, you know, his assistant, Larice or mm -hmm. Lou? And Mike has always said, no, even when Dave and Shelly together, they weren't like romantic, you know, sexual people. I think Valerie Haney has said, she, to her knowledge, they would sleep together maybe once or twice a year. They had separate bedrooms. And, and Mike was like, yeah, they had separate apartments. Even. They had separate apartments? Yeah. All right. And so Mike was like, there's no reason for Dave to be messing around with anybody. He's sort of this like asexual person. And that made sense to me. I mean, hell, I didn't know Dave. I'll take Mike's word for it. And it rings true. Mm -hmm. Now, um, the more anecdotes and stories and opinions have been coming out, Mm -hmm. that Dave is seems to be sleeping with Larice. the more I go, well, what makes more sense? That, that David Miscavige is openly in a relationship with someone who's not his wife and Sea Org members are tolerating this or that he just somehow got secretly divorced and remarried and there's no paperwork and no one's been able to prove it. Like which one of those makes more sense? So I'm not saying one, one way is the way that it is and one way isn't. I'm just saying one of those scenarios makes more sense to me than another one of those scenarios. And then I got a message from someone who worked for Tom Cruise that was like, after such and such and date, we no longer 
were sending any birthday presents or Christmas presents to Shelly at all, but we were still sending them to Dave. And I was like, sounds to me like they may not be married anymore. Um, do you mm -hmm. have any opinion on this whatsoever? Do you think anybody would put up with David Miscavige openly being in a relationship with someone while still being married to Shelly? I do think that they would put up with anything that he did. Honestly, even if it was like, it can like, just like people were putting up with him hitting people. Like it can be like, Oh, that was for the greatest good for the greatest number of dynamics. Right. So whatever he's doing is right. But I don't see him being like openly in a relationship, like in that way. Like maybe people were like, seeing stuff happening but he i i can't imagine him being like me and lou are in love and we're now together or something like that like that right. that seems like an impossibility to me but i mean i can see i mean i don't know if he's divorced from shelly but i could see why there would be good legal reasons for him to to his benefit you know that because him too would what to divorce her mm. because as a spouse, you have certain legal rights. Mm, interesting. Let me ask yeah. you this. Let me ask mm -hmm. you this. People were putting up with Dave beating people, right? I mean, to, mm -hmm. people were basically putting up with that. E e even though there were people who were like, hey, this isn't okay. Like, chill out. Don't do that. The truth is it was tolerated. Absolutely. But there was also a trickle down effect. Miscavige setting uh, an example of violence had a trickle down effect over, you know, a 10, 15, 20 year period where violence became more prevalent at other Sea Org bases because people knew it was okay with Dave and it wasn't something you were going to get in a lot of trouble for. Mm -hmm. Would you agree with that, that he sort of set that, that standard or would, do you think I'm overstating it? Um, I wasn't in as long as you were. Mm. So like I, what are you talking about? I was only this year for four years. <laughs> oh, I know, but you were, you said that you didn't you leave in like 2014 or something? Uh, true. Yeah, but I uh, left sign. It got declared in 2014. Okay, because I left in 2005. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Yeah. So like at that time, it was just like come. It was the first I'd heard of Dave beating people from my mom, who saw it firsthand, and then also Mark Headley, and so I feel like it had not had enough time to um, like where I wasn't like seeing people randomly beating people, but they were like, um, like keeping people in auditing rooms or like making them scrub dumpsters with the tooth toothbrush and things like that. But it wasn't like rampant that I saw every day. And I was also away for a year before I left in Australia. Right, 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 right. But I can um, imagine there would be. I mean. Here's where I was going with that. Um, I Even though I think people would put up with pretty much anything as long as Miscavige, you know, made them. Mm -hmm. I don't see how Miscavige would be able to penalize anyone for going out 2D if everyone knew that he was sleeping with someone that wasn't his wife. I just no, don't I see totally how those get. two things go together. They don't, but that's like the mind fuck of it all. Like it was literally like Dave can call the int base, but you can't. And then it's like, but all the other kids were like, they just did that all the time. Like that was the case literally all the time for me that it was like, you can't do this thing, but all the other executives were. So it like, I guess it just amounted to, they're so important and I'm not, and I haven't earned this right. And they're doing it for some reason. Like I would just make up reasons in my head. I mean, I remember after I left, I spoke to a friend of mine and I said, I told him I was like, but Dave like beats people. And he was like, well, I don't believe that that's true. And I said, okay, but if you knew it was true, if you knew for sure that he did that, you saw it with your own eyes then what would you say? And he said, then I would assume that it was for the greatest good for the greatest number of dynamics. Right. So it didn't even matter if he did that or not, you know, right, right, as right. far as he was concerned, it would just be categorized as they must be doing it for a good reason because it's him. Right, right, right. 
So I spoke recently with someone who worked closely with Dave and left only a couple of years ago, meaning she was working closely with Dave up until a couple of years ago. Okay. And I asked her about this just yesterday. And I said, did you, were you under the impression that Dave and Larice, I call her Larice, everyone else calls her Lou, but I can't call a woman Lou. Were you under the impression that Dave and Larice were a couple? And she goes, mm -hmm. I was absolutely under that impression. This is someone who worked, mm -hmm. uh, she was a Sea Org member, worked yeah, yeah. closely with Dave. She goes, not only was I under that impression, public opinion leaders, big shots, who would come and meet with Dave, hmm. would come to me and say, oh, I met with Dave and I met with COB and his wife. Like people mm. were, people who interacted with them who weren't Sea Org hmm. members would okay. also come away with the impression that they were a couple. And I'm just going mm -hmm. to myself, sure. Are there separate rules for Miscavige? Yes. Would people probably explain away anything he wanted to do? Yes. Mm -hmm. I still go, why the fuck would he stay married to Shelly? At this point, it wouldn't even make sense. Like, does he really want all the Sea Org people around him to think he's cheating on his wife? Or could he just have divorced Shelly and remarried Larice? And why would he be doing something behind Shelly's back. And the, the more obvious explanation to me is they probably got divorced 15 years ago. Why is that a, why is that a controversial thing to say? I don't think um, it's a controversial thing to say. It's definitely possible. Yeah. You know, it's definitely, yeah. and I'm sure that if he wanted a divorce, then she would just be like, sure, of course. Yes, sir. Whatever you want, whatever's good for Scientology. So I don't think it's just, it's controversial at all. I think it's just like a conjecture based on what I know, but I think that I don't have up to date knowledge like you do. And I'm not speaking to people who are just there. Yeah. So, and also I'm always surprised by what winds up being the truth. Yeah. Well, no, but what's interesting and, and this, and that's why it's so, um, uh, in my opinion, awesome and cool and fun to get different perspectives on this mm -hmm. is even the person who told me this a couple days ago, Mm -hmm. still thought that Dave could totally get away with sleeping with someone other than Shelly and people would find a way to explain it away. It wouldn't be as big of a deal as I think it would be. Cause I'm like, I'm like, are you kidding? People's lives have been destroyed for just mm -hmm. touching a boob before they got married. That's true. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> culturally speaking, sleeping with someone before marriage or outside of marriage is quite literally for some reason the worst thing you could possibly do in the sea org it's like the worst thing right yeah yeah <laughs> and totally. so why in the world would miscavige want to be surrounded by people who were under the impression he was sleeping with someone other than, than his wife it just seems that it would undermine his own power his own position could he get away with it sure he could probably get away with anything but why undermine his own reputation like that with people he's working with that's why i go it just doesn't make sense to me I see what you mean. Yeah, totally. That makes sense. Because you know saying. how closely they police what people are thinking. Oh, my God. Did you have any thoughts about Dave? Do you have any critical thoughts about Dave? Do you have any? And apparently they sec check people just as much about critical thoughts about Larice, who, um, by the way, by the way, when you were in the Sea Org, did you, was she called CCR? Because I'm told her post title, COB's communicator is for some reason um, uh, shortened to CCR. Oh, no, it was just COB's calm. COB is calm. Uh, it's, yeah. Apparently, it's become um, not okay to actually say COB. You have to call him Department 21 or, or, com or Command. They call him Command. Okay. They call him Command. Department D21, Command, or the boss is how they refer to him. Oh, apparently, wow. it's, it's out security to say COB because now people know who you're talking about. All righty then. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> It's just so fucking weird. I know. <laughs> Crazy ass shit. Okay, if you want to see my rock and roll songs, click right on this guitar. And if you want to see an, a different one of my videos, uh, then you could click right inside here. If you have subscribed or not, subscribe right here. Bye!